Good morning, Coast Road Art Center friends. This is Sandra St. Amour, your watercolor teacher. Um, I am not working in watercolors today in my demo. However, I will show you the watercolor that I'm working on. I'm doing a dog, big surprise, for my friend Lisi down in New York City. So I will share a picture of that with you um, when I'm done. But today I have an idea that you can do with your kids or most of my students, it's probably your grandchildren. It requires just some scraps of copy paper and a crayon. I um, peeled the paper off of my crayon because I'm gonna use it from the side. We're gonna do um, rubbings. Uh, big surprise for those of you that know me, I love nature, so I went outside and I got some pretty leaves to do but you can do it inside with your kids. This is my bathroom wall. This is the tile there. My bathroom floor is made out of beach stones, so I have some um, stones from the floor. You can do it with things that you find in the house, little objects that are flat, like some keys. And if any of your students, um, I mean your kids, are learning about money, they get bonus points if they can figure out how much I have here. I did one, two quarters, a penny, a nickel and a dime so here's a little school math for them all right this is how we do it you're going to take your scrap of paper and your object you'll put it down on the table where it's nice and firm but I'm gonna do mine here on my sketchbook because I haven't figured out how to move the camera while I'm talking you're going to put your object on your surface and your paper over it you want to hold both of them firm I have my fingers holding both of these. Take your crayon, um, from hold it from the side, and then rub. It's, it'll work a little bit better if you're doing it on the table um, because you can press harder. And the harder you rub, the better it comes out. But you get the picture. So. I am suggesting you take yourself um, on a little texture hunt and see what kind of textures and rubbings you can do. You can put them together in a collage, you can even watercolor on top of it. Remember, wax, crayon, resist. So have fun and I'll see if I can post a couple of simple things to do while you're at home in your um, quarantine or social distancing as they're calling it. Anyway, take care. Have a good day.